Hello YouTube, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com. Before watching this video, I'd like to let you know that I have over 500 similar videos available on my site, CodeReviewVideos.com. If you love Symfony, then you'll feel right at home here. I'll show you how to build both websites and JSON APIs, and then we're going to talk to those JSON APIs using React and Redux. There's courses on Docker and Ansible, as well as loads on deployment and test-driven development and behavior-driven development. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And as ever, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're continuing on with our migration from Symfony 3.4 up to Symfony 4. So we've covered the problems with Symfony's code generically and we've covered the code that we've created and now we need to fix the deprecations with any bundle code. Now we're probably not going to fix the bundles directly unless you find that your bundle's unmaintained and then that becomes a bigger problem. In our case, we've only got the eight points guzzle bundle to worry about. So we've got down to one deprecation, which is a bit unusual. It looks like there's a continuity error between the previous video and this one. But when I stopped the server and then restarted it, we gained down from two deprecations to one. So I'm not complaining and I'm not gonna look into why that is too much. One less deprecation is fine by me. But the deprecation that we're seeing here is quite a common one, depending on how many bundles that you've got. Some of them are gonna add stuff to the sidebar by way of the data collector. In this case, we can see the guzzle tab is added from the eight points guzzle bundle. And what this is saying is there's a problem with the way that it's using the data collector. Now, as I said, we don't need to worry about this directly. Hopefully the bundle maintainers have fixed this for us. So our first suggestion might be to update our composer JSON to use whatever's the latest version of eight points guzzle bundle. Currently we're using 4.5, but if we head over to packagist, We'll just do a search for eight points. And there we go, top result. So we can see that we're at 7.2.1 at this point. And because we're three major versions out, there's probably gonna be some problems here. So I'm just gonna open up the documentation. But I already know that the biggest problem that we're gonna face most immediately is that you're gonna need PHP 7 or greater. Now this isn't such a problem. I would strongly advise that you upgrade to PHP 7.1 or later at the time of recording. And on my laptop, if I do a PHP V, we can see I'm on 7.2 anyway. Now this becomes a bigger problem when you're going into production and stuff like that. But really, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to focus on any of that. So if we know that the latest version is 7.2.1, I'm going to change this up to be 7.2.1. And then I'm going to do a composer update and see where we get. So we hit on a problem, which is a little bit strange. And it says version 7.2.1 of Guzzle Bundle requires PHP 7 or greater. And we already have 7.2. But in our composer.json file, we've got a config platform PHP version, which is hard coded to 5.5.9. So what we need to do is just scroll down and get rid of this section here, which is fine. You actually don't need that anyway. And in newer versions of Symfony, that's been removed. And what I'm going to do instead is set the PHP version here, which is the preferable way of doing it, making sure not to use commas, but instead dots. And so I'm just gonna say 7.2.1 or greater. And now I'm gonna try and do my composer update again. Hopefully composer is a little bit happier with that. <laughs> that's, that's fairly unbelievable. So what I've done there is just set that to 7.2.1 because the eight points guzzle bundle is at 7.2.1. I got myself confused. But what's funny to me particularly is when I recorded this video the first time, when I went to save the video, the video recording software crashed and I lost the first copy of my video. So this is the second time through and I made that exact same mistake the first time through as well. Ever the professional. Anyway, so we're getting this massive error and we can either look at it here where it's tried to do it nicely for us or my preferable way, honestly, personally, is I just scroll back up to where it actually happened and don't look at the nice formatted version, but that's just me. So it says, attempted to load the class guzzle bundle from the namespace eight points guzzle bundle. Did you forget to use it? And it's telling us, hey, perhaps you should look at app kernel line 19. So we'll do as it suggests and we'll open up app kernel and we'll look at line 19. And because PHP Storm is pretty good, what it's gonna do is it's gonna figure out that this is wrong and then it's gonna flag it up for us. Now, if you're not using an IDE, then you're probably not gonna spot this quite as easily, but then I don't have a super wide range of use outside of PHP Storm. So maybe that's not the case, but anyway. I'm suggesting that you use PHP Storm because it actually helps you in stuff like this. And you can see it's flagging it up and it's saying undefined class. So what we probably want to do is look at the documentation for the eight points guzzle bundle. And we can see there's some stuff in here for Symfony Flex. Well, we're not there yet, but it does say load the bundle in app kernel and it gives us the string that we need to pop in. So if we pop that in, we can see that's significantly different to what we had. So it's going to get rid of what we had. And this time, rather than doing a, a composer update, I'm just going to try and clear the cache. 
So do PHP bin console cache clear. And now it says there's no extension able to load the configuration for Guzzle. And that's telling us that this problem exists in config YAML. So if we open up our config YAML, at the very bottom, we added in our Guzzle config. And what we need to do is replace that top level key from Guzzle with eight points Guzzle. Give that a save, clear that off and try again. And now it's saying you've requested a non-existent service. Well, from previous videos, we've covered this in our services YAML. We'd set up this alias for Guzzle HTTP client, pointing it at that service. I'm going to set that to eight points guzzle bundle. Now PHP storm plugin here for Symfony is not really too happy with that. But once we clear the cache and it updates at the bottom here, it should be quite content with this. So with our cache clear and everything up to date as such, if we refresh now, hopefully we're seeing this deprecation has gone. It looks good. Let's go back into our profiler, give that a refresh, but go to the latest and we can see we're down to zero deprecations. So this time we should be good to upgrade from Symphony 3.4 to Symphony 4.